Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another build video. I'm Fuzzbrain. Thank you so much for watching. So today we are in the forest just west of Hunter's Ridge and south of Point Pleasant. There's kind of a pre-existing structure here, which you can see kind of under that uh, hot tub there. And there's a kind of a little makeshift pier that runs along this rock edge. Um, and so what I wanted to do for this build was I wanted to use those new pier assets that we got in, uh, or for the season rather, and um, I wanted to kind of play around with different concepts. And so the idea for this build was a kind of a fisherman's pier restaurant sort of thing. And um, so I'll kind of walk you through that. And um, I also did a couple live streams that uh, I, I ended up building some in. So I will link to those down below as well. If you wanted to see how I did some of the stuff and like my thought process and all that kind of stuff. Um, it was a lot of fun. And I hope to be doing some live streaming uh, or some more live streaming soon. So uh, keep an eye out for that. All right. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get into it. So this is basically the entrance here as you're kind of walking down from the road. Um, and as you can see straight away, this is the pre-existing structure here, like I said. And uh, I have this little sign here. I wanted to use this as kind of a menu, like restaurant sign. <laughs> so I'm using it. So we have a uh, smoke fillets on special today. Um, oh, and one other thing too, I really wanted to use that uh, Meyerlurk steamer thing. I wanted that to kind of be a focal point. So I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but um, that was kind of the idea, like a, a kind of a restaurant-y sort of build. All right, so this pier here is kind of already here um, and it let me kind of put the foundations underneath it, which is great. And this little stair here is already here. So um, that'll be here if you're if you're looking to build here, you'll have that. Um, it is a little hard to build inside here, so I didn't really add much into this little structure. Um, but I did add this uh, little tire sign thing that we got. And uh, a couple other things here and there. But uh, So as you're walking in, kind of the concept is a, <laughs> for lack of a better comparison, like a Chipotle. So you come up and pay, grab a beer, and you pay for your food, and then you go to the bar area and pick up your food there. Theoretically, there'd be, you know, whoever this other guy is, wherever he went. Where did he go? Now, sometimes he disappears. There he is, over there. He'll uh, he'll grab food for you and uh, bring it to your table. Uh, so that's kind of the idea. So yeah, I um, merged. Well, I didn't really merge. Um, it's really easy to kind of use Beckett's stand um, in some of these structures. So this is that... Uh, bridge piece structure and I just snapped a wall to it on this edge of this foundation here and burned it and that let me kind of slide in Beckett's bar area so I have my vendor area here or my vendor <laughs> my cash register here too and I just put in some like Nuka Cola and beers you know uh, beers in that uh, display shelf back there so that uh, you can buy your booze from him there uh, so it's pretty simple like nothing uh, nothing too crazy so you just pick up your stuff here and then move on. Uh, over here is a little cooking station. This is the smoker. I wasn't really sure what else to do in this little area. Um, I initially thought about moving all the cooking stuff into this little, into Beckett's little area here, but I didn't end up doing that. Um, my first time using this cryo freezer too, the idea is that, you know, you'd have the cryo freezer out here, grab the meat that you want to cook and then, you know, cook it on the, on the grill. That's kind of the idea. Alright. And this guy's our mascot, the restaurant mascot. <laughs> Every good restaurant chain needs a mascot. That's what I say. Alright. So yeah, this is the eating area slash bar. And so for this, so these are the foundations, obviously. And so um, I just kind of maneuvered these pier foundations out here so uh, it kind of looks like it um, at one point was being used to like you know bring in boats and stuff um, but now it's uh, you know a little uh, restaurant seating area it's cool because you can look out on the water it's got gorgeous views you know I got a little barrier here you know how I like to do that in my builds just gorgeous gorgeous views and you can see all the mirelurks out there that you can hunt down 
actually, I think it came together pretty well. Big table here. So yeah, this is the bar area. And um, so I'll just walk through this a little bit. So what I did, what I did here, I merged um, and I covered a little bit of this in my live stream. So I merged that fireplace down into the Marthic steamer as well as the, um, what is that? The turbo fur down into the, into the, uh, <laughs> my brain is not working right now. Into the uh, fireplace. Um, well, A, to cover up the fire that's up there, and then B, to make it look like it's all kind of working, like there's something going on, it's churning the water, or something like that, I don't know. And then up here, as you can probably tell, I put in, I just set one of the radials on top of that, the weather, the weather vane things. And then for some reason that let me put in the fan, because um, the fan needs to sit on something, like sit under something. And so that's all I did. I didn't really, there's no tricks involved really, like nothing there. So. Um, you know, anyone can do that really, as long as you're patient with it. Uh, and then back here, I well, I put in the water purifier, and I made it so that I wanted it to look like it was all kind of connected back there, and everything was kind of, you know, the, the water purifier was kind of feeding into the steamer and kind of keeping it clean, um, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of the idea. And really, the uh, the purpose was I couldn't fit another foundation back there, so I needed to fill it up with something, and I felt like that could be a good use, you know, like a good focal point for the uh, Margulich steamer. So um, I ended I ended up trying to fit a bunch of stuff back there, and the uh, water purifier fit pretty well. So so yeah, and then obviously I built the bar around it, and uh, you know, put in the chairs and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think this is a cool asset. I love I love the Meyerler steamer. It's cool, um, you know, to uh, cool addition to uh, the camps, I should say. All right, and then this little bar area over here as well. Um, I wanted this to stand out just a little bit. So what I did is I elevated these uh, stools or the benches, I should say. You can tell they're there. Um, I elevated them up just enough so that they sat on top of this lip of this. Uh, so this is the new um, wall set that we got for this season as well. And um, what you do is if you uh, change these over to the wooden foundations, the pure uh, the foundation, oh my god, the wooden walls, <laughs> burn them and uh, it'll let you kind of sit a... Uh, so I'm using the what am I using? The uh, snow globes to elevate these up. And uh, it worked pretty well. And again, I covered that in the uh, live stream as well. So check that out if you want to see how I did it. Cool. So yeah, that's a little restaurant area. So you come here and chill and uh, grab, grab your food and uh, grab a drink and just hang out and chill. So that's the idea. And then um, I'll just walk around. Well, I'll do I'll take it over here. Actually, no, I'll come up here first. So yeah, up here's like the living area. And all I did here, I played around with different ideas to get up there and nothing really worked except for, um, I just I was able to actually snap this stair piece to this foundation. And then what I did was, because it didn't quite fully connect, I elevated this little um, coffee table using this rug. I didn't get to see this rug down here. And uh, it worked pretty well. So it's, uh, you know, it's tidy. It doesn't look seamless necessarily, but it gets the job done. And then I just have a little kind of porch up here that uh, people can come and sit and hang out. Really simple bedroom, like not really decorated too, too much. I started running out of budget, if I'm honest. Um, I did a lot of kind of stuff over here in this area that ate up the budget pretty substantially, so. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot in here, but you get the idea. It's a basic bedroom. Okay. Yeah, and I like this new stash box, but it looks a little... Um, what's the right word? It feels like something you see at a theme park, you know? Like, you're, you're on a roller coaster, like 
Pirates of the Caribbean roller coaster and like you're standing in line in the theme park and there's like a chest there that pops open with like and like bubbles come out of it or something. That's kind of what it looks like to me. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit in, but I don't know. Um, yeah, and then this is just a kind of garden area, like a uh, garden porch area thing that I that I put together. Um, also very basic, just you know, a bunch of flowers and plants and stuff like that, um, and a couch to come lay and read and chill, relax after serving Wastelanders all day. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, over here. So I wanted a outhouse. And this one seemed to work okay. It kind of fit in here. Um, I added the shelf here as a little step to get in because <laughs> it wouldn't sit all the way down. But I did add in this curtain. So the curtain door. Um, and the way I did that was, uh, if you if you know the wall anywhere trick, um, it actually just kind of s worked. It just it worked uh, putting it up on that little lip there, um, and I was able to fit in a door and then remove the door, or fit it, yeah, fit in a door and remove the wall, um, and it worked pretty well. So I know there's other ways you can do it. I think there's kind of more convoluted ways, but it, that seemed to work for me. Um, it might have just been a weird fluke, but who knows. Alright, yeah, so then um, I built out some additional pier pieces here. Like I said, this is, you can see kind of where the the original uh, little pier thing was, like this little round uh, around the rock face here. So I built this out, and uh, this is the crafting area. Nothing too crazy, like I said. I just wanted my crafting benches here, and... Uh, you know, it does a job. Decorated just a little bit, kind of keep it interesting, but uh, not not too crazy. So yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here that I did. I don't, I don't think so. Um, I did have a little bit more decoration, but I I kind of cannibalized it in other areas. So, all right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, and I used this too. I. I don't know why I'm using this here, but it just kind of seemed like something I drudged out of the river and just don't have a use for it yet, but I'm, I knew I knew I want to use it for something, but it's kind of just off, you know, on its own. But I like it. It's, it kind of adds to the, uh, the ambiance of this, this aquatic kind of build, so. All right. Then over here is uh the final pier it's just you know you can just come out here and uh fish do some fishing and relax enjoy the sounds of the river okay. and yeah and um i did want to use this boat i forget what it's called um the actual boat name but I did want to use it, and it won't float, so it sat on the ground under <laughs> underwater. So I'm like, well, I can do something with that. So um, I have a little seating area over here, and I use these. You've seen me do this trick in other builds, um, I'm sure. Uh, so all you do is use a rug, and I merge this picnic table down into the rug, and it kind of sat. You know, if, if you do it right, it'll sit on top of this pier here and kind of float. Um, and then I did the same thing with this rug and then these these table, uh, this little little shelf thing here and these tables as well to kind of give a, you know, make a little makeshift walkway and stairs into this little area. This is kind of cool hangout area. And I finally had a chance to use these canoe chairs that uh, I got, got like months ago probably in the Atomic Shop. I've, it's been a while. But it, they never really fit in with other stuff, but it seemed like it would fit in well here. And yeah, I just made a little campfire out here. It, I know it doesn't like quite fit necessarily, but we don't really have anything that it could sit on that would make sense. So I'm just gonna just hand waving it for now. But yeah, I like this. Lightly decorated again, because there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, and those. Um, 
Union flags actually seem to work pretty well up there. They snap originally, kind of kilter, off kilter, and then if you grab them again, they'll they'll kind of go right into those beams, which was awesome. So it kind of looks really good. So yeah, this is a little hangout area, and yeah. Let's see, is that it? Is that everything? Did up there, did back here. Yeah, I think that's everything. All right, cool. So yeah, this is uh, this is the build. Let me know what you think. I would love to know uh, if you have any comments, questions. Um, if you want to, oh shoot, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to show you this. So um, I did add in <laughs> this spa up here, or the spa. Oh my god, the hot tub. And um, really, just to add something on top of this pre-existing structure because I wanted it to. Um, it, it just kind of looked bare otherwise it looked really boring and um so yeah i added it up here and it's kind of you could kind of see it being like a a way to cook marlurk again or just a chill spot to hang out in again um and i couldn't get stairs up here for the life of me um so i just you know you're gonna have to use your imagination um uh, only the people with uh Marsupial mutation can get up here, maybe, but um, and it is what it is. But to um, instead instead of having this like dangling back here, what I did was um, I am supporting it with this ice chest and a couple other just kind of like bips bips and bobs and stuff like that down here to make it look like it's actually you know being supported. So I think it turned out pretty well. Kind of gives it a nice junky look, you know, scrappy look. Cool. Oh, and I did also, let's see, well, let me turn this on, actually, real quick. Yeah, I did set up that weather generator. I did also use this um, whale again, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I did try to, like, merge it down into the roofs a little bit so that it wasn't so blocky, but everything I tried just wouldn't work, unfortunately. Um, you know, even removing all the roofs and burning it and all that kind of stuff, it just didn't, nothing seemed to work. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have used a spike trap, but it's too late now. <laughs> so, um, you're just going to go with it. But I think it adds to the, uh, to the whole vibe of the, uh, of the camp and making it seem like a, you know, a restaurant. I wanted it to be kind of like a, a nice centerpiece for the restaurant. So that's kind of the idea. And yeah, the, the weather station really gives it kind of a, a, a nice eerie vibe. So I really dig it. And it looks good too. At night and in this like fog and mist. So yeah. Well again, I uh, hope you dug it. And if you're on the live stream, hanging out with me, building this thing, really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, like I said, let me know if you have any questions or, you know, comments. Um, let me know down in the comments, obviously. And um, uh, if you would like to subscribe, that'd be great, too, if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I'll probably be doing more live streams and, and builds and stuff in the future. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day. And I will talk to you later. Have a good one.